Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 68 of Let's Play the Masterpiece Queen's Wish the Conqueror. And it truly is a masterpiece. It's really good. We saved here. Um, I think we made some upgrades, and I think some are still having to be made. No. We got, went ahead and made them. We have 43 gold, not much to do anything. Um, I'm going to check the portal one last time to see if there's any messages. Portal has a message. Delia's voice drifts out of the portal. Matthew, I've heard the good news. You restored another of our lost forts. You are showing so much promise. I am so proud. And you have some advice for me? No, not today. I need to stop advising you unless you ask. You have earned that much trust. But do you need advice? Are you worried? I should ask you what you are thinking. There is still more to do. Of course. However, you can delegate. You don't have to do everything yourself forever. Once all the states of Sacramento are our vassals again, it is your responsibility to come home and trust our soldiers and officials to run things there. Soon, you must decide what you will do when you come home. Um... I have no idea what to do. You will have some time to think when you return. It will be a pleasure having you home. You just can't think forever. Your childhood is over. I promise I... Wait, I must go. Mother. She is gone. Alright. Uh, thank you, Stonehouse. Alright, we are equipped and a little bit better off, so we're going to head to... Wait a minute. Current earnings... Um, hmm. We are going to head to, uh, back to the, um, pit that we just died in. The, uh, Mercala Mines, which takes 10 hours. We should be better off. Um, I hope we can just go where we have to go immediately. Okay, good. It looks like we cleared the place of snakes. Um, the last stop was up here. Oh no, something's blocking my way. Oh, uh, do we have to do this all over again? Yep. Ah, uh, well, episode two of Let's Try to Survive Here. We did pretty well. Um, let's try to stun it. Stun slowed bleeding. Yeah, we did pretty well that I think we can probably handle it, although we're going to have to do it all over again. And it was kind of tough. Nothing we can't really handle, though. Try to stun it. Slowed anyway, critical. That dang poison that gets you. The poison was our undoing last time. I didn't. I could have saved and went back, but I chose to just take the haven exit or uh, step right up, serpents. It's your turn. Nice. Uh, yeah, it just is what it is. Oh, we gotta do it all over again. Uh. Dang. <sighs> well, let's, let's eat. Let's uh, settle in, guys. Hmm, we've got to get rid of you, big time. Oh, the poison already stacking up. Die. Please. Oh, oh my gosh. How much poison can we take? 32 poison damage. Oh! 
Wow. And I haven't saved since Haven. All right, I don't think I'm going to do the Mercola Mines right now because, honestly, it's... I, I'm not up for another crawl through that place again just yet. Uh, oof. Let's head to the Ariel Woods and um, try to retrieve the thing from Ann Carl's mine, the trinket. We haven't found Pickett's break yet. Let's head to the Garden of Pultritude. Head back up the path. Unfortunately, the road has been overgrown by an impassable tangle of trees. You can't pass through the woods by this route. If you want to explore, you'll have to step off the road. Huh? Where are we? Oh, we're fine. There's a small Ariel village straddling the road through these deep woods. There are no blessed here. It's just a humble farming town, the sort you pretty much never saw before your mother dumped you into Sacramentum. You try to talk to the people here, but it is an odd experience. They are dazed. They barely seem to notice you are there. They respond to all of your questions with mumbles. Very odd. As you pass, you talk to some of the farmers. They are friendly, humble people, untouched by the arrogance of the Ariel's leader. They have no information or equipment of value, but they do provide a good meal. Thank you. Um, Pickett's Break. Let's head through Pickett's Break. Now, we're probably going to be fighting Ariel, so we should go ahead and put this on, which will do 29 to 65. One less, but then there's a 20% critical chance. So, hooray. You enter a narrow pathway through one of the impassable brambles that partitions the Ariel Woods. An ancient stone road stretches to the east, passing a roadside inn. This region is surprisingly not dead. The magic of the R.A.L. has left a large patch of lush woods here. You hear wildlife all around you. What you don't hear are people. All of the travelers are gone. The inn is quiet. No smoke rises from the chimney. Pickett's Wayhouse. Okay, how much of this did we actually explore? Let me F3 before we die horribly. It's locked. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Um, only the blessed may hunt and pick its break. Poachers will be punished. Let's see if we can handle this yet. That's odd. At first you thought that the road went east. That's not right. It actually turned sharply to the north. Something nags at you. This isn't quite right. Oh, well, you are a prince of Haven. You can't be fooled that easily. The road always turned north. And that says, poachers will be punished. To the north, you can see three armed Ariel waiting on the road. You can make out the greenest skin of the blessed from here. At this point, it'd probably be foolish to expect a friendly greeting. There's an old Ariel warrior waiting on the path. He wears heavy chainmail and wields a vicious enchanted Ariel spear. Its tip is not proper metal, but a humming lance of fire. You think he is old, but you aren't sure. Elixir usage extends life. He might be 30 or he might be 300. He is definitely mad. He points the spear at you. Stop, colonizer. I am Elgan and we are we blessed are ready to do our proper duty. Put down your weapon. Don't you realize I'm a Prince of Haven? The two blessed women to either side of Elgin laugh. He says, of course we know exactly who you are. That is why we are here, to stop you. Things don't go well for those who try to stop me. Yes, but you have never faced proper blessed. We have centuries of power and magic, and we are not afraid to do our duty. Your duty? For 200 years, I did my duty as a counselor of Messidi. I remember the ways of honor, of freedom, even if the useless counsel now does not. You were a counselor. I was. I did my duty. I tried to keep the Ariel safe and free. After your kind left, I thought we were safe. I retired to hunt. Now you are back, and none of the blessed are doing anything. So we will. Mm. Since you have power, you can help make the Ariel our vassals again. No, Queen Sharon tried to bribe us. We refused. You will not own the Ariel again. You will die in these woods. He lowers his spear. The Ariel attack. All right, let's see what we can do against them. I want to head for Bronwyn the wizard. <clears throat> Stunned. Ah. Oh, it was an illusion. I remember this a little bit. 
You strike Elg in a mortal blow. At least that's what you thought was happening. He vanishes. The cackle of distant laughter echoes through the forest. Your enemy was an illusion, but a powerful one. What are you trying to do? Uh. Twizel. Okay, we can't go north. We have to go west. Um... Let's not make any part of this uncovered. Well, let's uncover every part we can. An icy sensation runs up your spine. You shudder uncontrollably. You look around to see what has happened. Translucent shades are rising out of the water behind you. Oh, we can't run from them. Alright, we should be able to... Oh, they're bleeding immune. Oh. Forgot about that. Oof. 25 and vulnerable. You feel another chill. The water of a different pool begins to bottle. The smell of rot fills the grove. Yeah, I don't know if we can handle this yet, but we'll try. Um, whirlwind. Hmm. Kill these icy shades. We're not doing a lot of damage to them, and they're doing quite a bit of damage to us. At least to Rufus. And there's 10 billion of them. That's strong. There we go. That works. Bleeding immune, though. Not playing to our advantage. Um. Die? Uh. Walk one and E. On those two? Oh, Rufus is almost dead! No! Oh, bah, oh, oh, why am I not saving? Why is this episode going so poorly already? I'm so sorry, guys. Well, all I did was come over here and kill these illusions. It's pretty simple. Ah! Of course, the poison comes. The illusions of aid, too. Wonderful. Let's try not to go so far west before the illusions or before the water bubbles up. In fact, let's try to come down here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I should have eat them. Eat them, I see. Last. I don't know if we're like equipped for this. Um, walk here and attack that icy shade. Uh, walk here and try to stun it. Slowed anyway. Um, whirlwind. Critical of 19. Whirlwind. Nice. Hit all three. Whoa. shell. Bleeding immune. All those vicious strikes. Are for not. Um, whirlwind. Hmm. Hit all three. Nice. Um... Lauren and Sasha will work on the icy shades. Oof. Um, come up here and maybe kill all three. Nice. Now we're cooking with grease. 
You feel another chill. More come. Um, whirlwind. Good, come up here. I want to whirlwind you all. All right, someone needs a healing. Um, come here and whirlwind. They're very fast. Um, whirlwind. Ah, I need to heal. No, I need to heal. Okay, team heal. Little F. Fear. Um, whirlwind. Go ahead and G. Promise. You slowed and vulnerable. Why aren't we buffing before these fights? Um, get us some battle. Lesson in haste here. A banshee, some fungal zombies. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it takes a lot to kill them, like four shots. Die? Hmm. Fear. Uh, another whirlwind. We're using so many resources just to fight this first group of enemies. It's like, it's crazy. Uh. Wow. There we go. Um, let's save some energy here. Oh, invaded. Uh, it is. Fade that. They're like, sure. We'll evade that. We'll evade all day. Finally. To conserve some energy. We got out of that pretty nice F3. And we're back on the road again. Um, oh. Okay. F3. Chest. You have found a beautiful hunting ch chalet out here in the middle of the woods. It is reserved for the use of the blessed who come here to hunt wild game. It is eerily still. Ooh, much needed wood. The game knows, man. It's so balanced properly. Dweizel. Okay, this looks like the real Dweizel. I should have buffed. Try to stun. Slowed. Slowed the toad. Um, we'll make him bleed. Evaded. We'll walk. Boom, that'll make him bleed. Translucent beasts begin to float through the doors into the hunting chalet. They are clearly illusions. However, in the Oriole Woods, even phantoms can kill. Fear. Nothing to worry about. Oof. Fear removed. Okay. Walk here and whirlwind. Nice. Twice will die. The Ariel vanishes with a pop. Another illusion. That was an illusion, even? Faded. Let's just kill these illusions. Sashel is getting rocked. Um, heal and cure. Switch to your bow, man, and come on, they're so fast. Um, switch. 
switch to your weapon and die. Ah! There we go. Okay, how much? Yeah, go ahead and use your cure on her. And use your heal on her. Alright, get this box, which is Quicksilver. Get this box, which is ooh, diamonds, a radiant helm. Plus four damage to undead. Ooh. And some fine furs. Um, who could use the plus damage to undead? I think. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Ramus. Maybe Ramus. F3. Back in the woods again. This uh, That's the same chalet. I don't even know. I thought it was this chalet we were in. Um, South Path has opened up. I've never made it this far. If I recall correctly. Sapphire Skeletons. I booked up. I did not do that. She was... Uh, or, uh, I was possessed there. Sapphire skeletons. Oh, jeez. Well, just go ahead and use your bow since you're up there. Mm. Should have healed Ramus. Whirlwind. Nice. Oh. Um. Crush the skelly. Crush the skelly. We're hanging in there. Boom. 46. Nice shot. That one cannot reach us. Critical of 70. Okay, you use your bow. Yeah. Fire lance. Okay. Oh, there's an enemy? Oh. oh I just changed everything when... Sword on you, go ahead. Team heal. F3. Going into another area. Nice chest with fur, 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 fine Ariel cowl. And 37 silver coins. At least we're getting some money along the way. Come on, where's Dweisel? Bronwyn. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Winter Wolf. Um, I want to actually stun Bronwyn. Can't reach target. Okay, then we fight Winter Wolves. Um, run up and stun that one. Nice shot. That works. Translucent beasts begin to float through the doors into the hunting chalet. They are clearly illusions. However, in the Aria Woods, even phantoms can kill. Mm. You want to bless up, then so do we. Uh, attack. Attack. Attack here. That's gonna hurt everybody or some people. Um, I'm trying to stun. Nice. Uh, dang. Attack. 
those are illusions. I don't know what's an illusion anymore and what's real. The Ariel vanishes with a pop. Another illusion. Okay, Phantom Wolves. Huh? Oh, they come in this way too? I see. Bring them on. We'll find every last one. Is there more? Chest? Did we get that already? No. Wood, nice, and stone blocks. Up. Oh. How much further must we go to get through Pickett's Break? We're on the road again. Elgin. The three blessed are waiting for you on this path. They have never been in actual battle, instead hiding behind illusions. However, the effort of trapping you has exhausted them. They are pale and panting. Elgin points his spear at you. This is the end. The end of the hunt. We will not give up. We will not surrender. You will die in these woods. We have weakened you. Now we give the final blow. Are you alright? You seem kind of mad. Mad? Elixir gives us clarity. We see with pure clarity. We see what we must do or die trying. You're about to be destroyed. This is your last chance to withdraw. No, we are the finest of the blessed. There is no way that Haven can invade our lands. We will die to prove this is so. The three of them salute each other with their weapons. They try to let out a cheer, but it turns into a mad cackle. They are still shrieking with the plea when they charge. Alright. Oh, stunned Matthew. Um, go ahead and use a potion. And, uh... I can't reach him, so might as well whirlwind. Oh, charmed. Interesting. Silence resisted. Blessing. Um, let's go ahead and try to stun Bronwyn. Slowed, at least. Uh, stun. Let's go ahead and J. Wow, is that a double attack? I have not seen such trickery. Ooh, nice. Oh, there's a, here's a double attack for you. Ah! Fear resisted. Hasted. Cured. Uh oh, Ramus. You're doing me dirty. Um hang in there though stunned nice wow okay critical Brahman's almost dead critical stunned um die stunned dead alright Ramus Time to work this guy over. Slowed. Uh, team heal. Weakness. Time to uh, stun this guy. Stunned. Back up and bloody him up. Ah. Um. How about... I didn't mean to whirlwind. I thought that was bloody blow. No more cleaving for you. You will be stunned again. Slowed. Bleeding. 32. Don't you charm him or fear him. Bleeding too. Um... Let's hit him with weakness because he's pretty strong. Weakness. And, uh, stun him. Stun resist was slowed again. Bleeding four. Oh, he dead. Uh, try to stun you. Evaded. Um, 
Use strong magic on Dweisel. Okay, he died. <sighs> this copy of Elgan was the real deal. He collapses, mortally wounded. He holds his hand up and looks at it. Death? But me? How? I was meant to live. And his eyes glaze over. The would-be assassin is dead. We have to be careful of this guy now. Um, try to stun him. There we are. Bleeding stun. You're in trouble, Dweisel. You don't mess with the Havenites here. Stun him again. Rufus, uh, Ramus doesn't have a bleeding attack, though. To further the bleeding. We can just attack and... There we go. Alright, we did it. You've gotten pretty turned around in these dark woods, but you think you've finally found your bearings again. You are at the east edge of Pickett's Break. At last, and the inner Ariel woods are open to you. Hopefully you get a warmer reaction in the settlements to come. Um, I don't think there's anything we've left behind. Alright, Pickett's Break is finished. New report. No th uh, theft from the Ariel. Leaves us with... Ah, uh, take some of our wood that we've been finding. Oh, well. Okay, here we are. Let's F3. How long have we been playing? 31 minutes, okay. You emerge from Pickett's Break and get your first look at the Northern Ariel Woods. They are far more settled than the South. The trees are sparser. Farms and settlements stretch ahead of you on the road to Mesidi. The good news is that you are far less likely to be sent astray by enchanted trees. The bad news is that, is that the humans are likely to be far more dangerous. As you walk along the road, you encounter a band of Ariel soldiers. They are all blessed and they are unfriendly. They move to block your path. Their leader says, Identify yourself. Several of them have drawn weapons. I'm Prince Matthew of Haven. They move off and have a discussion. Then their leader returns. Only one question, Prince. Have you had any dealings with a blessed name Astara? She has some influence in the trench, the trench town of Sliven. Never heard of her. We see. Thank you for your time, Prince. Know that we will not tolerate lesser peoples interfering with our affairs. That is all. They slide past you and continue down the road. One of them sneers as they walk past. Jerk. Yeah, I'd rather, sit, I'd rather avoid a fight there. I mean, they are blessed. And what are you guys, farmers? Can I come up here a little bit? And Carl's mine. Okay. We've discovered it. This is where we have to get the trinket for um, Lady Brock, which is very good. Let's head along the road here. Sign says Pickets Break West, Mercedes South, and Carl's Mine North. Um, let's head down here. There are patrols of guards watching the roads around Masidi. They stop to greet you. You learn that they spend most of their time hunting monsters. Mirelings and strange beasts constantly emerge from the woods to cause trouble. When they realize who you are, they urge you to enter Masidi and speak with the counselor in charge. They deflect any questions you ask. They have their orders, and they're smart enough to not get involved in politics. Okay, what's this crew down here? There are several dirty, hungry, blessed sitting by the fire. This isn't their farm. The family who lives here watches them warily through the windows. When you get close, the blessed rise to their feet and look you over with bleary, unfocused eyes. One says in a loud, slurred voice, You! You there! Are you real? Greet them. She says, Are you real? Good. We are on a journey of exploration, hunting for wisdom, but we need to go to Masidi. Home, Masidi. We aren't sure where it is. Can you help us? You really don't know? She looks angry. Don't question us, trench person. The blessed do what we must do. You will not question us. I know where you should go. She is relieved. Oh, thank you. You will be rewarded for your help, trench person. The blessed all brighten up. They are also looking in different directions. Point east. 
You point toward Miss CD. They doubt you are telling the truth at first, but they decide to risk trusting you. They pack up their things and move off, much to the relief of the family who lives here. Before they go, the blessed woman presses a coin into your palm. I think you are turned around, but we will try what you said. We can't sit here forever. Then they happily walk toward home. Cained one coin. This is bizarro land here. You are near the Ariel city of Mesidi. It is quite lovely. Dark timbers, centuries old, form an elegant city of carved walls and gracious buildings. As before, nobody comes to greet you. The guards give you one look as you pass by. The farmers pretend you aren't there. There must be some influential people inside these walls, someone who can speak for these strange people and help you complete your mission. Best you stay on this side. You are not blessed. All right, um, let's look around. Bakery. Mira. This is a small boarding house crammed into the crowded streets of the trench town of Basidi. There's an old woman sitting and knitting. When you enter, she nods. A traveler, a visitor to Masidi. I am Mira. Welcome to my inn. Tell me about Masidi. You have the accent of Haven. I remember it. Your people were here before. I knew you would come again. I am glad for it. You knew that I was coming? Of course. We are little people, but we are not fools. As soon as your ships passed our north coast, the word started to spread. The blessed ignore us, so we have to look out for ourselves. You are happy that we are here. Yes, Haven being here means travelers, customers, merchants bringing good vol stone to fix my inn's foundation. If we little folk are going to be ruled by brutal absolute masters, at least Haven is better at providing services. That is reassuring. Of course, I've been alive a long time. I know to tell important people what they want to hear. I have another question. Mira sits and knits. She occasionally offers you some tea. What services do you offer? I provide rooms for those few brave souls who can travel through our woods. I have a free room for the night. Only free five gold. I'll have a meal. Oh, this is just a small inn. We don't have a full menu. Also, I don't let my customers get drunk under my roof. I'll take a room. Mira takes the money and unlocks the door. First door on the right. We'll have bread and fruit for you in the morning. I don't need anything. Then enjoy Miss CD. We're glad to have you. Um. Oh. First door on the right. Well, what's the second door on the right? Okay. Nothing in the box. Let's rest. Get our team back. You're welcome here. Trading post. Ariel robes. Give me that. Reasonable prices. Give me your iron. Trader Katrina. Oh, we're stealing from the Trench Town. I'm sorry. This isn't the elite here. The Trench Town is a humble trading post for regular folk. You look around at all of the mundane equipment and food and such. There isn't much that appeals to you. A merchant runs up to you, eager to trade. You are here. I'm so happy to see you. I am Trader Katrina. You're happy to see me. Of course. Since Haven left, fewer people came here to visit the Ariel. This is bad for people like me. I want lots of visitors. I want people to come here from Fort Mist to trade and such. The blessed don't really care about these things. They don't really lead us. Tell me about the blessed. Her enthusiasm fades. They rule us. We have to do what they say. That is all she has to say. Who is your leader then? Lonius is the one who looks after our trench town. He doesn't drink the elixir, so he actually helps. I'd like to get some elixir. Um, really? Are you sure? Is that smart? Anyway, the blessed won't sell it to outsiders. I have another question. Trader Katrina watches you in quiet awe. I'd like to trade. We don't have much for an important person like you. We have some supplies and lumber. Also a few weapons and robes. Maybe that'll help? Let me see your wares. Hmm. Ooh, you saw lightning orbs. And another silver necklace. Ooh. Well, we have to, like, buy a lightning orb. For sure. And Ariel robes are pretty, pretty weak. Um, scroll of might, scroll of calling, quicksilver. I thought you said you had some lumber. 
Silver necklace. I don't think we need another silver necklace because every other necklace we have has slots. So, yeah, thank you for the lightning orb. Of course, my goods are quite humble. You should talk to Rosler. She's our bet. She has our best crafts. I'll be going now. Please come again. Also, when your forts need supplies, don't forget us. We deliver. Okay, thank you, Katrina. We'll stay in the trench town and come down here. Burst into someone's house. Upstairs. Ariel Duelist. Please be peaceful. What's up here? Ariel Bows. Pretty weak. I don't know how you'd take them anyway. That slime. Ariel Alchemicalary. Temporarily closed. Okay, there's some slime issues going on here. Yep. Steaming mess. Go ahead and handle this. Mm. Whirlwind. Um, whirlwind. I like how pudding I like how puddings and slimes can bleed. That's pretty cool. That's right up our alley. Whoa, Ramus is taking a beating. Um, can you like kill one of them? Almost. These things hit pretty hard. Whirlwind. Nice. Vici all vicious strikes. All vicious strikes. Dead. Nice. Quicksilver, amber, and amber. Well, that was cool. Probably gonna have to wrap this up here after we exit this place. Looks like we can cross over to the blessed area. 42 minutes. Okay, perfect. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode and are enjoying the LP. If you're watching the whole thing, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, next time we explore more of Mesidi, try to find Lonius and uh, go from there, guys. Talk to the counselor of the town, see if we can talk to someone sane and uh, have fun and more adventure in this masterpiece of a gem. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Until next time, take care. Much more to come. Stay tuned.